Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you the best looking compact house that I have ever made. This is the most efficient, most compact, best looking, highly functional house that I have ever made in Minecraft. This thing, this beautiful little thing, will fit in a six block by six block area that is six blocks across the front and six blocks going backwards and coincidentally upwards as well it will also fit into a six block area there too let me show you the inside of this thing so if we crack open the door we walk inside we have a bed in here we have a crafting table we have a furnace we even have a nice little chest underneath the bed and we have a nice balcony out here which we can sit and contemplate life and plus we can also fire stuff out the side of it we can even take out a bow and arrow here and we can actually fire stuff out the side of it so if for some reason we have an onslaught of zombies coming at us then we can combat them out the side of this little window plus we can also look at nature but mainly it's for the zombies and all of this fits inside this tiny little beautiful house i hope that you guys enjoy this one uh, if you do please do remember to like the video subscribe for more click the little bell if you subscribe and also say hello if you subscribe as well i'd like to say hello back but i'm trying to be efficient here why don't i show you how to make this gorgeous little house so if you want to make it here's what you'll need grab yourself some oak wood some oak wood stairs some spruce wood stairs some spruce wood slabs some oak wood slabs some white stained glass pane some oak fence some poppies or any flyer of your choice and also grab some wooden trap doors you'll also need a door of some sort i'm going with oak wood chests beds crafting table furnace lime hardened clay and some green hardened clay now both of those are completely optional now once you have each one of these materials right here and once you've figured out where you want to make it and you guys already know that this house right here will fit in a six block by six block area so if you want to plan it out in your world if you want to create a nice rectangular shape on the got a square shape i should say a square shape it's not a rectangle for once you want to start with the very front left hand corner of your square shape on the ground and like i said it better helps you plan out the build if you do build one of these but it's not necessary well if you do build the square you want to move in from the front left hand corner one diagonally so inward diagonally to the right you want to on top of this block right here place three oak wood so that's one two and three oak wood coming up from the ground i accidentally threw one out then you want to take the bottom oak wood and you want to go right of it by one with your oak wood planks you then, going right of that oak wood plank, want to place an oak wood and place two additional wood on top. That's one and two, like this. You want to take the tops of each one of these oak woods and you want to place a spruce wood slab coming out from the tops of the oak woods. You want to place an oak wood stair on top of these spruce wood slabs facing outwards. Place an upside down spruce wood stair in between the two oak wood stairs. Extend these spruce wood slabs outwards using your oak wood slabs, like this. Also, place an oak wood slab coming outwards from the bottom center oak wood plank that we placed earlier. We now want to come to the left hand side of the build. Coming out of the back of the very first oak wood that we placed, place two oak wood planks. That's one, two oak wood planks behind that second oak wood plank place an oak wood and extend that oak wood upwards by two one and two take the oak wood planks that you placed and place oak wood stairs in front of them coming upwards diagonally either side of those stairs place spruce wood slabs in front of the oak wood then take the oak wood slab that you placed earlier for the side of the roof on the front of the build and place a row of four upside down oak wood stairs coming backwards from it that's one two three and four extend that fourth block backwards by one with the oak wood slabs place a strip of white stained glass pane coming across the side of your house where you have the empty space and the oak wood either side then Come to the back of the house now, and you want to come to the back of the house, and you want to take the bottom oak wood, and you want to do an oak wood plank coming across the back of the house from the bottom oak wood. Then place an oak wood next to the plank and extend it upwards by two. One and two, like this. Take the oak wood plank and place a spruce slab coming out from the upper half of it. Take out a grass block, a dirt block, whatever it is, and place grass blocks either side of the spruce wood. 
place Oakwood fence on top of the grass and upside down spruce wood stairs on top of the fence. Place opposite facing Oakwood stairs on top of the spruce wood stairs with an upside down spruce wood stair in between. Also place an Oakwood stair on top of that upside down spruce wood stair facing towards you and you can also do the exact same thing on the front of the build as well, facing towards you towards the front of the house. Now. All you have to do is fill the back of the house in with white stained glass paint, like this, and make your way to the right hand side of the house, where we have something else to do. On the right hand side of the house, we want to first of all, take this upside down spruce wood stair and extend it towards you using your oak wood slabs. Place upside down oak wood stairs coming in from the back oak wood slab and from the front oak wood slab. Then, above the two stairs, Place oakwood slabs in between and half a row above. So connect the front and the back together using oak wood slabs in this fashion. We also want to connect the rest of the roof together. We want to use spruce wood stairs to connect the rows of oak wood stairs together, front to back. Also, the top part you want to use spruce wood slabs at the top to form a nice shape like this. On this side of the house, we have a small balcony, so we want to take the front and back bottom oak woods, and we want to extend the upper half of the oak woods outwards by two with the spruce wood slabs, one, two, one, two, connect those second spruce wood slabs downwards to the ground forming planks, connect them together using spruce wood slabs as well, and fill in between them in with oak wood slabs, and place white stained glass pane around the balcony, like this. Once you've done that, you can come to the front of the house and you can place grass blocks either side of the entrance with flowers on top of the grass if you so prefer. You can also place wooden trap doors around the grass blocks. However, that technically isn't six blocks. That's like six and like a little bit, like six and an eighth or something like that. But wooden trap doors hardly constitute as a solid block if you ask me. So I think that it's all good. Now, if we make our way inside of the house, we have to do something a little bit special inside of here. So, we have to fit all sorts of stuff on the inside of this house. We have to fit a chest, a bed, crafting table, furnace. On the right hand side of the house, next to the balcony, we want to place a crafting table and a furnace. That's where those go. On the left hand side here, where we placed these guiding oak wood plank blocks, this is where the bed will be. So we will destroy these and we will place a bed in the floor. However, the problem is, underneath the bed we need to have a double chest. So we want to destroy one block at a time underneath the bed and replace the blocks with chests. That way, the bed will stay standing and we get a double chest. Then, the way that we now access said double chest is we use oak wood stairs coming downwards down to the center of the house and that allows us just a little bit of space underneath the bed and it's actually a very secure chest because you might not even recognize it unless you know it's there. You might also want to replace the block that we have here right bottom center of the build and you might want to replace it with a different block entirely. As for lighting in the house, it's up to you what you use, whether you want to use a glowstone, a glowstone, I don't know why I went into that accent, whether you want to use a glowstone or a torch or whatever, it's up to you. I think that glowstone's a little bit boring, so I'm just going to use a torch. I think I'll use uh, just a double torch here and a double torch here. If you like, you can fill in the top center part of your roof. I'd highly recommend using, say, oak wood slabs, just so that you have a little bit of a material change, just so that it looks a little bit more interesting. And then, you know what? You even have room if you didn't place a double torch there for a nice painting on the wall. But that, fundamentally, ladies and gentlemen, is the house. Highly efficient, looks great. The only thing left is for us to add a door, which we're going to do now. We'll slap a, a, a nice oak wood door on the front of it. If you want to invert the door so that it opens the opposite way, then you can if you find that you like that look better. I, however, think that's a bit dark, so I'll be placing it right where it belongs. Great looking house, highly efficient, doesn't use that many materials. Uh, oh, you know what? Small thing. Very, very small thing that you can do to the house. Before I wrap this up, I almost forgot. 
Underneath the house, you may want to add some artificial grass. So basically, wherever you, wherever you have, like, you can see where we have these dark green blocks, yeah? Coincidentally, these actually work with the artificial grass. If you want to add rows of lime hot and clay, followed by rows of dark green clay, then you can add some artificial grass to your house. It looks great. It adds just a little something to the house and it makes the house look as though it's a little bit more planned out if you add some artificial grass to it. it uh, especially if you add it underneath blocks that are a little bit tricky to get to. It just makes it look as though that the house is a little bit more planned out now for so I, I can't actually uh place that block up oh, there we go it makes the house look a little bit more planned out it makes it look a bit nice but there we go guys there is your extremely great looking incredibly efficient beautiful starter survival house hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please do remember to smack that like button i'd really appreciate it i really really would um if you want to see more stuff like this, do remember to like. Comment down below. Do you want to see more of houses like this? Really small, efficient, great looking houses. Uh, check out the card system and the description below if you do want to check out all of my other stuff. So if you want to check out the card system description below, you'd find all sorts of playlists. You would find wooden house playlists, which would show you how to make houses that you can see on the ground in front of you. Wooden houses, funnily enough, in the wooden house playlist. If you wanted to make, say, some more modern houses, you would check out the modern house playlist to show you how to make houses like these and even more. We even have some modern mansions in the mix. If you wanted to make wooden houses, suburban houses even if you wanted to make suburban houses check out the suburban house playlist if you wanted to make a city check out the city builds playlist if you wanted to make a park you would check out the park builds playlist you guys get the idea at the end of the day all i'd like is if you guys enjoy the content check out the channel subscribe for more say hello if you subscribe and also, click the little bell next to the subscription button, and that'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the house, and I'll see you guys in the next one.